Imagine a swirling mass of plastic waste, three times the size of France floating in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, an environmental disaster that has captured the world's attention. But just how bad is it really? And what can we do to solve this crisis? Welcome to The Daily Hit, where we uncover hidden truths and challenge your assumptions. In today's video, we're diving into the controversy surrounding the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, its impact on marine life and ecosystems, and the role of corporate responsibility in addressing this catastrophe. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay informed on the stories that matter. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch has been portrayed as an enormous island of trash, but the reality is somewhat different. In fact, it's a vast, dispersed accumulation of microplastics, fishing gear, and other debris that's not easily visible from the surface. This misconception has led some to downplay the seriousness of the problem, arguing that the patch's impact is exaggerated. However, the sheer volume of plastic and its ability to infiltrate the marine food chain make this an issue that cannot be ignored. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch poses a major threat to marine life and ecosystems, with an estimated 100,000 marine mammals and 1 million seabirds dying each year due to plastic ingestion and entanglement. Skeptics argue that the patch is just one of many threats facing marine life and that focusing on it detracts from broader conservation efforts. While it's true that the patch is not the sole cause of marine life decline, the scale of the problem and the potential for long-term damage make it a critical issue that must be addressed. Numerous organizations and individuals have undertaken cleanup efforts to tackle the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, including high-profile projects like the Ocean Cleanup. Critics argue that these efforts are insufficient and we should focus on prevention and reducing plastic production instead. While prevention is undoubtedly crucial, the magnitude of the problem necessitates a multifaceted approach that includes cleanup, prevention, and innovation. The role of corporate responsibility in addressing the Great Pacific Garbage Patch cannot be overstated. Major corporations are significant contributors to plastic pollution and their actions have a profound impact on the environment. Some argue that corporations should be held accountable for the waste they produce and be compelled to invest in sustainable alternatives. Others contend that the responsibility lies with consumers and governments to drive change through their purchasing decisions and regulations. However, addressing the plastic crisis requires a collaborative effort, with corporations playing a vital role in reducing waste and promoting a circular economy. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is just one part of a larger global plastic crisis that demands immediate and sustained action. As the world grapples with this immense challenge, innovative solutions and international cooperation will be essential in mitigating the impact of plastic pollution on our oceans and marine life. While some may argue that the patch is an overblown issue, the undeniable fact remains that our oceans are choking on plastic and the time for action is now. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch serves as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of our reliance on plastic. By examining the controversies surrounding its impact, the effectiveness of cleanup efforts, and the role of corporate responsibility, we've shed light on the reality behind this environmental disaster. 
As we move forward, it's crucial that we all play a part in addressing this crisis, from individuals to corporations and governments alike. If you found this exploration of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch insightful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Daily Hit for more controversial and interesting content.